So far, I'm liking the look of the Kitchen Island. It's looking good. It's going a little slow, but I figured that being a custom piece. So now comes the fun part. We get to start adding some color to this island. We got our boards right here. We painted them. I think it's called Moon Blue. I'll have to check for you and get you the color. Um, I don't think the color is going to show the exact color on camera, unfortunately. Maybe against the orange, it'll look nice. But then we just scuff the edges up to kind of give it the older look. We didn't want to go too much. We like just the reveal on the edge. Just want to draw a line. We're going to make sure we're starting straight. So when we get to the finish, we got a nice straight board and all the boards are going level. We're going to be screwing the boards on and gluing them. We're just using liquid nails, heavy duty adhesive. We just want to make sure we're on our mark good. We're gonna do this real time. Um, the first board we put up, I didn't like the way it was going. It was kind of cracking and splitting as we were going. So I'm gonna pre-drill the top holes and the bottom holes. New about an inch, about an inch down from the top and the bottom. We're gonna do two on each. Here's the paint that we got. Val Spar furniture paint. It's an enamel paint. You don't end up seeing any brush marks or anything in the paint. This is just one coat. No primer, no anything. Lays out really nice and flows nice. We did the satin finish. Now that the boards are all pre-drilled on the top and the bottom, try to figure out the best way to screw them from the back. We're gonna to need to pre-drill. Custom projects. You gotta be ready for them to take longer than what you thought. A lot of the stuff is one offs. You gotta figure it out on the fly as you go along. That's how most of our projects here are. So we're gonna be doing a concrete countertop here on the island. I researched it a little bit more. I have a friend that did a concrete countertop for his kitchen. He recommended going with the pre-mix that they make for countertops. So Quickcrete makes a Quickcrete countertop mix. It comes in 80 pound bags. The Lowe's and Home Depot around here don't stock it. So I was able to order it and they said it would take about two weeks. It was three times the amount of regular concrete, but it's supposed to have the additives in it to make it cure better, stronger, and it's not supposed to shrink. And that's when you get the cracking. So I figured where we got such a big countertop space to do here, it's five feet wide by six and a half feet long. I figured we're better off using the good stuff. So I ordered it last Monday, a week from today actually. And it's supposed to be here in two weeks. So we should have it next week. So we'll be able to start on that, hopefully once we're all done getting this stuff ready. Get 
stuff ready. You can do as much as you can at once. You might think it takes longer, but the long run it actually takes a whole bunch of This wood again is tamarack, which is a soft wood, but it's hard like cherry. That's what we use for our flooring. And it definitely likes to bow and warp. That's one reason why I'm making sure I screw it in good and glue it good. You can see right here, the gap. Corbels are rough cut and the bottom side of them are not very flat. You can see the gaps on the edges. They rock. We're just going to use a joiner. And try to flatten out that back side. straight edge and I ran a nice straight line down the edge of my board of how far away from the edge I want my core bell. I got a straight edge running here so I can know what to set my top up against and have it all nice and flush. I'm wearing my headlamp so I can see my pencil mark nice. I pre-drilled all the holes for the core bell. Yes, we know we put enough construction adhesive on there. So that's as far as we're going to be able to go today in this project. We got the antique corbels done. I got a center corbel in on the oak, which is different. Kind of blends in. I just wanted more support. I painted the underside of the plywood that we're going to be pouring the concrete countertop on. On the next episode, we'll be making the corner trim pieces and the trim for the top and we'll be fixing the inside. I'm hoping to have this done, I guess I would say, in two more episodes. We'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Share the video, it really helps, and you can go see us over on Instagram.